Governor Cuomo's mandate reform report has municipalities worried already. They say that it still does not offer more state funding to pay for state mandated programs. So now, local leaders are coming up with their own ideas on how to keep their heads above water. Fox 40's Amanda Kenny reports. Hello, layoffs and goodbye services. That's what a number of local officials are saying we can expect if Governor Andrew Cuomo gets his proposed 2% property tax cap across the state. Binghamton's Mayor Matt Ryan says the math simply doesn't work. If there's a 2% property tax cap put in with pensions costs going up another 40% this year and our, our always increasing medical costs another 15 to 18%, that's a $3.9 million dollar uh, budget deficit before we even do anything else. Broome County Legislature Chairman Jerry Marinich is also seeing red. If there's a cap on there and there's no mandate relief, it's going to place an undue burden on the county, which then we have no recourse except to cut services. Governor Cuomo's mandate reform will do some good for municipalities in the future, but some local leaders believe the governor needs to work on the present before he can actually focus on the future points us in some good directions for the future, but it doesn't seem to address any of the current issues and, and the problems that we have. Those are things that are down the road, and they're going to help down the road. There's no doubt about it. But we need immediate relief now, and the taxpayers of Broome County need immediate relief now. But Mayor Ryan has an idea of his own. He thinks Governor Cuomo should look to the past for tips on taxing. If we just went back to the Clinton era tax rates, in the next four years we'd have a trillion dollar surplus instead of a four trillion dollar deficit. We have to start making people pay their fair share. Chairman Marinich has an idea too. He thinks counties should mandate themselves. For one size fit all for New York State hasn't worked. And so therefore maybe we should try this. Let's take a look at maybe letting the counties pick what services they feel will serve their constituents the best. But at the end of the day, reform will happen, and municipalities are going to have to somehow make it work. In Binghamton, Amanda Kenny, Fox 40 News.